Well, if I give you the answer what I do to my son, um, I give my son everything. I, I don't really think, a lot of the plants I use are very safe plants. Um, I would, I would say that you need to be careful with very stimulating plants. Like, well, given, given lots of cayenne pepper, given lots of ginseng, not, not Siberian ginseng. Yeah. Anything that will give them, maybe, in, 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 they're very sensitive, so it really comes down to dose. My son gets everything. Something. <laughs> Seriously, my son's been drinking medicine since he was like three months old. Okay. And he's been drinking tinctures. And now I think that's why he gets, he's, a, he's a whiskey lover. Yes, <laughs>
and, and, and the way I treat some women is also psychological, is that the second part of the cycle, they don't want to go there. <laughs> I'm not going there. So they kind of they kind of get into a cycle of eating testosterone, which is kind of very similar to estrogen. They get into a bit of a cycle, and they raise testosterone levels, a lot of cortisone levels, you know, a lot of sympathetic, you know, do, 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 I don't have a period, I'm just fucking normal, you know, and fucking look at me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just kind of all this pent up frustration, the hormones don't know what to do. Because what herbs do, herbal medicine doesn't treat it. Herbal medicine, like plants, gives you a raw ingredient. It's your body does something with it. So if your body's not using the raw ingredients correctly, something's not going right with either your psychology or a functional issue in your body. You understand, right? So with, with a lot of women, firstly, they're told not to be women. Could be yes. a woman. Be a man. I wanted a boy, and I got you. Yeah. Okay? It's, sh it's shameful to be a woman. Um, am I right? Am I hitting the right note here? But I'm not saying you guys think that, but our society hasn't exactly looked at women in a very nice way, especially around their periods. You know, you're getting your period, don't tell anyone. Yeah. Your mother didn't tell anyone. She didn't tell you much about it. Don't tell your father. Don't tell your father. That's what I heard from my sister. It is stupid. So what I, what I work with women when it comes to estrogen, progesterone, I say, we need to sort, you need to sort out your self-image. I mean, we need to have a talk. Most women don't know what I mean. Just give me some medicine, I'll go. A little bottle. So I give them lots of things. I give them trifolium. Where are we going? No, I promise not. Yeah. <coughs> Agnes Castus. But I really wor I work with women, and, and if they don't want to do, if they don't want to go into those places because I'm a man, maybe that's the reason. I don't know. Um, then I don't really want to work with them. Yeah. It, no, no, no because the, the medicine will help. But still has to yeah. You have to know what you are treating. Hmm. Ah. And, but women have to be prepared also to look at it mm -hmm. themselves in a way. And uh, I'm not here to blame women. Some women thought I'm blaming them. You think it's my fault? Mm -hmm. We don't have problems. <laughs> 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 okay, yeah. We don't have problems. I mean, there's only one book written on, on men's, you know, health, health, sexual health especially, that I know one book, there's about five million books on women, but yet, it's so, it's, so, it's so weird, like, so men are telling women they have all the problems, and men don't want to talk about it, and one of the biggest things for men in their 50s is, and they don't want to talk about it, prostate, yeah. prostate, prostate cancer, or benign hypertrophy, okay, so, this is an exercise for men. Stand up. So you're ready to clench. <clears throat> Women do it as well. <clears throat> ready? Work the muscles down here on the floor of the fair name. Funny thing. No, that's your Perfect. Uh... Most men carry what, this is kind of an energetic, but it also has physical impact. Men carry their worry, you know, worry. Mm -hmm. That's what I want. Uh, uh, in their prostate. How many men, and maybe even women, but women who have a prostate, which is lucky for women, how many men clench their, are constantly clenching their asses in, in this area? I'm always clenching. It's like I'm, when I'm worried, tense. So if I'm looking at you right now, it doesn't mean that's why I'm looking at you. I don't have any, I don't have my sixth sense. But that's where we put our worry. Men worry a lot, they don't speak about it. And we, we just all laugh, because men don't have any problems. Because it's so true. That's <laughs> the truth. One of the best plants for in inflammation of the prostate, prostitutes, <coughs> is uh, nettle root, copripa. <coughs> and if you want to live a really long, healthy life, <coughs> oh. <laughs> Just eat nettles. Eat copper eat, copper all of it. eat the root, eat the leaf. Make 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 your, your clothes out of the stalk. <laughs> Compost your garden with some of it as well. If, and eat the seed. So your kidneys will be fine, your prostate will be fine, your bloods will be great. Your digestion will be very healthy, you'll be very strong, you'll be like a bloody nettle. You're looking at me. <laughs> You're looking at me. 
Tony, you walk past a group of nettles, and I, I'm not doing psychedelic here, but it is a bit psychedelic, and I can stand up in the nettles all day, and some patches of nettles just go, come on, I just dare you. <laughs> come on. But next time you walk past the nettles, just, do you do this? Walk right past the nettles, or do you do this? Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, if you do this, obviously you get stung, so next time you do this, you know. It's the same with coconut. I have many bottles of coping, I have lots of scratches to prove it. Yeah. Coping is a really protective plant, the leaf, right? Mm -hmm. Coping a leaf, just like raspberry leaf, all of those thorny, um, they're incredible, especially for women. They were talking about raspberry leaf for women, my god. Talk about a uterine tonic, and we're off man for a minute. Just eat nettles, guys, and women. Just eat nettles. And you'll be a healthy, Strong man and woman. Without a prostitute. He had arrhythmia problems, um, so what's his problem? Um, he had a problem with his heart, he had arrhythmia. What's really the problem? How is it? Um, you know. Sometimes he had a really uh, uh, high... Um, not blood pressure, blood pressure, but uh, heart, heart. Palpitations, racing heart. Yes, and I'm very, uh, it was uh, irregular. Okay. What's really wrong with your father, you know? Yeah. I no, know. tell me what's wrong with your father. Probably. My mother died. Okay. So there's something big here, right? And is that when the problem started? Okay. So probably it's just he's not able to talk about it too much and not able to grieve about it and it's affecting his heart chakra. So you want to slip some medicine into his cup of tea, don't you? No, <laughs> he would gladly uh, drink. Oh, so he, he wants to, to yeah. deal, deal with this? Yeah. Has he spoken about it? His grief? Uh, no, no. He doesn't have anyone? Uh, how do you mean? Send him to me. He doesn't speak English. Can oh, we, can, we, we, we can find another bloke if he doesn't want a woman there. But uh, th that's one level, you know? Yeah. And that's probably really what's, what he needs. Like, the Rouge Marin probably would help him try and release the tension in his chest. Yeah. Glog would really help strengthen and tone mm -hmm. his, his whole cardiovascular system, circulatory system. And it really depends what the other symptoms are, you know, physical manifestations. You know, does he have cold hands and feet? I don't know that. Does he have panic attacks? I don't know that either. Does he, uh, does he get headaches? No. no. Okay. Does he ever get pain on, on his left side? He, uh, he, he did uh, mention a pain in his chest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here? Yeah. So you probably might be suffering from something called angina. Angina? Angina. Okay. Okay. So his blood circulation to his, his, his heart is starting to maybe be diminished. So what, this, what he needs is something to... Cayenne pepper would help him. But I wouldn't... I, see... I understand. Now, I'm always reluctant to give people solutions because, you know, I need to see them. Um, his, uh, his veins and his uh, heart, they're absolutely health, healthy. Okay, so he's got, a, he's, got a, he's got CGI, he's got everything checked out. Yes, everything is uh, His cardiogram is fine. fine. No. Yeah. Perfect. So what's not happening is his, his heart's not singing properly. Yeah. And I'm not joking here. You know what they've done with the heart, no, just for a second? They took, you know the red thumb, the thumb, the thumb, the thumb, right? You think it's regular. Oh, I've got a regular heart the thumb, the thumb. And you see in the ECG, it's like, you know, oh, perfect heart. But actually what they done when they monitored for 24 hours, the guy who's a cardiologist, and they look at the pattern of the variations of electric magnetic energy in the heart. And then they took this chart, which was kind of like, that's not a regular heart, it's like, <laughs> they mapped it on like a music score. Oh my God. They played the score. They matched the notes, and it played this wonderful music. How amazing is that? They took, they took, a, they took a, a reading from somebody who's got, uh, I think it was arthrosclerosis or some basically cardiovascular disease. And my God, it was chaotic. There was no, you couldn't hear the music. And then somebody who was an end stage, you know, renal, or sorry, heart failure, from renal to heart failure, and it was like two notes. Da -na, da -na, da -na. Oh man, you couldn't listen to it. It was like dragging nuts to listen to it. The guy played for a few minutes. So your father's heart needs to sing. Does he sing? No. Can he sing? <laughs> no, probably not. Does he like music? Um, 
Yes, but he's, uh, he, he doesn't uh, listen to music for um, like four years. So what you need to do now is you need to get him on music. You need to find that score. Yeah, I leave the music in the car for not uh, too loud, mm. but he always turns it down. Oh, so he doesn't want it. He doesn't want to hear music. No. <laughs> he needs help. He thinks it's wrong. What's wrong? To listen to music, to enjoy the life. Yeah. yeah. So he's, he's he, 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 the fact that he's still alive and still breathing, he's guilty about it, mm -hmm. right? Oh yeah. And yet he wants her to help, so he's a cry for help, right? So, passion flower, passi flora, rouge marin, glow. A little cayenne pepper. Does he like hot things? Yes. And some tilia. What is it? Oh, sorry, uh, lipa. Lipa, yeah. Very good for grief. You can have them all as tea. For grief. Lipa. Okay. Disconnect between the grief and the person. Maya. Pitala je dosta dičena u vezi svog oca da ima aritmiju i palpitacije šta već. I da je inače zdrav i da nema nikih problema sa živama i srcem. I on je pitao onda od kad je to, od kad je mama umrla. Poanta je da je otac ne razgovara o tome, ne izražava svoje osjećaje i tu se vjerojatno pojavio neki zastav. I onda je on preporučio Znači, plasofloru, ružmarin, lipu i glog. Znači, za srce koje bi to malo, evo, lipu kao za tu tugu i tako dalje, znači da bi se malo to, da, da bi... Priča je u biti sad, kad su slikali srce, da je bio kardiolog je slikao ta srca, znači srce ne ide jedno lično. Da kad su mjerili srce i stavili su u glazbili, kako da kažem, to note koje odgovaraju, da je to bilo onak jako lijepa muzika za služata. Kad su stavili neko ima neke probleme sa srcom, neko je ritmi ili nekakve, šta je, nekako uglavnom poremećaje, da onda su to bile onako neslušljive note. Znači, planta je da, eto, njezin otac treba, znači da mu srce opet svira, jel, muziku svira i pitala je da li voli muziku, da li sluša muziku, ne prestoje slušati muziku, da su ostali jedan mama u Milanda. Tako da on smatra da on nema očito pravo na vesele, kada je ona umrla, tako da treba se svoći s tim.